For Krema Media's Policy, I'm Sane Lamene. Researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna joins me for Sadna's View, a weekly commentary on South Africa's political scene. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. We marked International Women's Day this past Wednesday, and our own Women's Day is coming up in August. Do these days actually hold any meaning or make any difference? Well, I think in South Africa, not much was done for International Women's Day, so that's the truth is most people didn't know it existed. Mm -hmm. But I think that a, a day in, in America, for example, they did a number of things to draw attention to it. Uh, and there's the slogan, be bold for change. And I think when you mark uh, a day devoted to gender equality, mm -hmm. you can use it as a way to raise people's consciousness, to educate people about the question of gender equality, uh, women's rights. And I think it's important to say how we understand it, because there's more than one way in which people are evaluating to what extent we have made gains in gender equality. In the, mo in the main, you have uh, an emphasis on numbers, that you've now got more women in corporate jobs, mm. or as CEOs, and things like that, or you've got more women as judges, and I think that's very important, uh, but I think we have to understand that gender equality relates to the question of patriarchy. And you're talking about remedying qualitative, not quantitative only, but qualitative barriers to gender equality. And we then have to understand how patriarchy works. Mm -hmm. And patriarchy really re means rule of the man, of the head of man, who is the head of the, part of familias used to be the head of the family in Roman law. And you have a situation where historically all, all, may, all decisions would be decisions of the male head. And you have a continuation of that where you have this distinction between the public sphere where men operate and the private sphere where women are supposed to be looking after the home, looking after the children, uh, looking after the man when he comes back from his hard day work, having a hot meal ready, so that he's able to go out the next day to do this, these works in the public domain. It can also apply to warfare, to heroic activities where heroism is primarily <coughs> associated with men. and. Women are there <coughs> to wave their men off when they go off to battle and to have the home ready for when they come back so that uh, they nursed back to uh, have proper meals if they've not been eating properly, all that sort of thing. Mm. Now, the problem with this is that uh, what it means is when men, women enter into certain jobs, into certain activities like politics, mm -hmm. they're entering into spheres where they don't belong traditionally. So that when women go into the legal profession, which I know fairly well, it's actually a masculine profession. And uh, most of the men who go there don't have to uh, nurse children, don't have to take children off to go and do sport or whatever it is. Even if a husband and wife are both at the bar as advocates, it'll usually be the wife who phones up if they've got a domestic worker to find out are the boys back or if they've been to uh, the doctor, have they done this? And Or the woman will leave her job to go and do this. Uh, in Parliament, I've mentioned this before, the first parliament, they never had so many women in parliament as when the ANC won elections. And there weren't enough women's toilets in the place. The women just took over one of the male toilet areas. In the speaker's office, I've mentioned this before, 
there was a urinal because the expectation was that the owner, be, only bearer of the office of speaker would be a man. So when we tackle, uh, we've got to understand there are structural phenomena that have got to be addressed to make uh, institutions, boardrooms, and other things women friendly. Mm -hmm. Most political parties, uh, you know, when they, they've reverted back to the word chairman, using the word chairman implies that the chair is a man. Chairperson was introduced, some people think it's precious and so forth. It was introduced to imply that it doesn't necessarily belong to a man. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a number of these things. It's very important in South Africa that we pay attention to gender equality and patriarchy because we are a very violent society. Mm -hmm. And violence in South Africa and throughout the world is mainly masculine violence. And the violence relates to the models of manhood that we have. Now, one of the reasons why uh, you had the pub we, one of the things that went along with the public private division was that qualities were ascribed to men and qualities were ascribed to women. Men were rational, women were emotional, men were strong, women were weak, and all of this. So, this idea of being strong, rough, tough is part of the notion of masculinity that is transmitted in most societies. And it predisposes men to actually be more likely to commit violent acts against women, mm -hmm. but also against uh, men who they see as effeminate and things like this. So it's very important for us in South Africa to tackle this, because we are a very violent society. I mean, people, you just look at someone and they say, why you look at me, bang. And that's how the problem that you have in this country. Mm. So what do we do to remedy the continued denial of gender equality and move towards its realization? You know, it's a, it needs to start with role models. And I think the problem that we have in South Africa at the moment is we don't have a Mandela, a Sisulu, a Tambo, who provided models of masculinity and that were worthy of emulation, where you could say, when you grow up, you really should become like this. Or someone like Chris Harney was a soldier, but he was also very concerned with gender equality. Some women whom I interviewed who were in MK said they were introduced to feminism, to gender, by Chris Harney in the camps. So that you, we have this problem where the current leader of South Africa is extremely patriarchal. He ridicules ideas of women as independent human beings. So I think it's important for those people who do value uh, the idea of gender equality to advance these ideas in the ANC, if they're in the ANC, in other organizations. And it's not just a case of attitudes only but that we uncover the way certain structures are operating, mm. which are barriers to the realization of, of gender equality and the human beings who are barriers, so that in the future we look for people who will advance these ideas. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. That was Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Krima Media's Polity about whether International Women's Day is an empty ritual.